Get ready to witness the automotive revolution of the century. Imagine a car that not only runs on water, but also emits nothing but water vapor. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, get ready to have your mind blown. Forget everything you thought you knew about car engines, because Toyota's latest innovation is rewriting the rule book. No more fossil fuels, no more harmful emissions, just pure, clean water powering your ride. But how is this even possible? That's the million-dollar question. How does Toyota turn water into a fuel source that rivals petrol and electric engines in power and efficiency? And why hasn't any other car manufacturer cracked the code yet? Here's a fun fact. Toyota has been leading the charge in green technology long before it was trendy. That's right. They were pioneering electric and hybrid cars while others were still stuck in the past. So what's their secret? What do they see that the rest of the industry doesn't? If you're curious to uncover the answers and dive deep into the future of driving, you're in for a wild ride. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries behind Toyota's water engine and discover why it's poised to make waves in the automotive world. Toyota stands apart from other companies by not merely blending into the crowd, but by establishing trends itself. It leads rather than follows, setting the standard that other major players strive to emulate. This drive to pioneer has positioned Toyota as a trailblazer in the electric vehicle industry. Central to their ethos is an unwavering commitment to innovation, with innovation being their singular focus. This forward-thinking approach bore fruit in the 1990s, when the concept of EVs was still nascent. Amidst this backdrop, Toyota boldly introduced the world's first hybrid electric car, the Toyota Prius effectively catalyzing a new era for EVs within the automotive market. It's widely speculated by experts that had the car not seen such remarkable success in the late 90s, then maybe in the early 2000s Tesla wouldn't have had that initial push. Nevertheless, regardless of the circumstances, Toyota itself seemed dissatisfied with its achievements. Surprisingly, in today's automotive landscape, dominated by giants like Tesla, Ford, Chevrolet, and Fiat, Toyota is viewed as a less dominant force. Remarkably, one in every five off-road vehicles in America is a Toyota, reflecting its enduring popularity. However, upon the launch of the Toyota Prius and the subsequent global feedback, concerns arose about flaws in their hybrid electric engine. Consequently, production of their EVs was halted. But what were those flaws that could not be fixed with minor modifications? In truth, there were several. Upon close examination of their EV model, the Prius Toyota identified two significant issues. Firstly, while EVs are lauded for their eco-friendliness and zero carbon emissions, the electricity supplied to charging stations is often generated from coal, diesel, and natural gas, effectively making EVs indirect contributors to environmental pollution. Secondly, the batteries powering electric vehicles predominantly rely on lithium, cobalt, or nickel, each necessitating significant extraction efforts. To produce a single battery, the extraction process demands a substantial amount of fossil fuel, equivalent to that required for two conventional EVs. Surprisingly, an electric car emits approximately 13,608 kilograms of carbon dioxide gas prior to its arrival at the showroom a figure that could potentially contribute to the premature deaths of 22,000 individuals annually. Overall, Toyota realized that because of these flaws, the main goal of electric vehicles is being undermined. They're using rare materials unnecessarily just for their own convenience. Consequently, they've taken a step back in EV development and shifted focus to improving cars with combustion engines. This starts with fuel choice. Essentially, Toyota has always known that the type of fuel you use matters more than the engine itself. It's crucial to consider factors like how easily the chemical bonds in a fuel can break to release trapped energy, and how many of these bonds contribute to carbon emissions. In this context, it's important to note that carbon, being able to form the most bonds, is a key element. This means that whether you use ethanol, kerosene, or compressed natural gas, Burning them will release carbon dioxide in some form. So what should be done in such a situation? Well, there could be an idea. What if we use hydrogen, 
H2. A hydrogen molecule consists of two hydrogen atoms, and due to their small size, they can be densely packed in a fuel tank. For instance, imagine filling a tank with 24 bonds using only four petrol molecules. Alternatively, with 100 hydrogen molecules forming one bond each, you'd still have four bonds yielding four extra units of energy. Additionally, the bonds between hydrogen atoms are robust, resulting in three times more energy release than petrol when broken and without emitting carbon dioxide. Overall, it presents a significant win-win scenario. Toyota has already developed a hydrogen engine supported by our detailed explanatory video. However, as highlighted in the video, hydrogen-powered engines face challenges. Hydrogen stands out as a promising fuel alternative despite its highly flammable nature. Transporting it in large tanks like this resembles carrying a moving time bomb. With a fleet of hydrogen-powered vehicles, envision about 100 cars navigating New York's notorious traffic. It's not just congestion, it's akin to a ticking time bomb. This realization led Toyota to initially abandon the concept of hydrogen-powered engines. However, they eventually circled back to the drawing board, determined to find a solution. So here's the deal. Toyota figured out that if they want to make cars that are good for the environment, they need to look beyond using just fossil fuels. They realized that hydrogen could be a great alternative. But there's a catch. Pure hydrogen is highly flammable. However, if they could somehow make hydrogen less pure, it wouldn't be flammable anymore, right? That's where the idea of a water engine came in. Basically, instead of using pure hydrogen, they use a mix of hydrogen and oxygen from water. This mix wouldn't be flammable like pure hydrogen. This whole concept teaches us an important lesson. When we face problems, we shouldn't just panic and give up. Instead, we should go back to basics and figure out the root of the problem. This approach, called first principles thinking, helped Toyota solve their problem creatively. It's a reminder that when we're stuck, going back to basics can lead to innovative solutions. Now, let's dive deeper into how this water engine works. But first, let's acknowledge that even though water might seem clean, it still contains impurities like oxygen. Surprisingly, these impurities are actually helpful in making the hydrogen less explosive. So, Toyota had a solution, but of course, there were still some hurdles to overcome. During their primary research in this field, they discovered that some individuals had previously experimented with using water as a fuel for cars. However, these endeavors faced challenges due to political interference and impractical designs, preventing them from gaining widespread acceptance. In the 1980s, amid rising fuel prices in the U.S., Stanley Meyer, a lesser-known American inventor, sought an alternative to petrol and developed a car that could operate using water. Meyer claimed that his invention could travel up to 180 kilometers on just four liters of water. However, when Meyer presented his idea to the public, he encountered threats from various oil companies. Tragically, in 1998, while discussing his invention with investors in a hotel, Meyer suddenly experienced severe throat pain. He rushed out of the hotel and tragically passed away on the spot under mysterious circumstances. Shockingly, shortly after his death, both his car and all associated designs inexplicably vanished from Meyer's garage. Speculation suggests that had these designs survived, electric vehicles might not have gained the prominence they hold today, echoing the scenario surrounding the launch of the Toyota Prius. If the water-powered car had become popular, Perhaps the Prius wouldn't have been the only electric vehicle grabbing attention in the media.